Well, that was a good day of adventuring. I thought it would be so easy. <sighs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I mean, it was so easy. Easy. Yeah. I mean, we barely had to do anything. Thanks to... Thanks to your Gatling gun. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to my Gatling gun. Why do you look so upset? All my training. Every fight. You survive. You breeze through it. Do I? I got it. You. Placed poisoned clinic. Wow. Yeah, and bring it in to see you slowly make it to the same level I had to work so many long weeks, months to get through. Well, you know what they say, work smarter, not harder. It's only been a week since I introduced you to this. And already, you have exceeded my expectations. Most people will see, can say that a good thing. Especially since we're in a party and you're just leeching off my experience. People will have an experience if it was for me. Hmm. Well, whatever, whatever. If anything, uh, how long is it going to take you to make something for us? To, oh, wait, I already made that. What? Yeah. You serious? Oh, yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. You wanna go see the king? You can. It is not an issue. What'd you make? Just a little something. What did you make? I promise it's nothing that too extravagant. What did you make? I made a tank. Come again? A tank. That shouldn't... You can't. Did. Why? Because I could. Who's going to stop me? 
Okay. Disregard the fact that you made a tank. Mm -hmm. What did you do to it? What do you mean? I know you by now, to an extent. It's not just a normal tank, is it? Go ahead. Tell me what you outfit it with. Well, it can go through multiple terrains. It can go underwater. I'm listening. Keep, keep going. I know there's more. Because of the fuel source, it can uh, use uh, motion. What neck energy that it already utilizes as a power source? <laughs> Anything else I need to know? Well, the ammo does have to be reloaded. Oh, thank you. The only thing is it uses... It's, uh, it uses magic as uh, ammunition. Okay. Okay, okay, that, that's not too bad. But, okay, there's always a but. There, I made it so it has different effects depending on which slot you put in. I, 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 I don't know what to say. It's just me. You were. Oh, wait. Tanks don't really move that quickly. Oh, this one does. You are taking out all the hardships of doing this. Yeah? And? Is that a good thing? Hmm. I can't believe this. I. It's. <sighs> I can't. I, uh, it's just. I. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. You. You have single-handedly turned yourself, basically, into the. Final boss of a dungeon. Well, well, the thing is, gonna be like this. There's always a chance that I, well, we could come across something stronger, huh? Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Uh, you said this uh, world. He's taking a dungeon in and of itself, right? So there must be stronger dungeons, right? Yeah, 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 you know what? Yeah, you're right. There must be stronger dungeons out there. Heck, we haven't even fully traversed this dungeon. Heck, we don't even know how to clear it. We, we don't know the falling boss or anything. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure there are plenty of terrifying beasts or whatever that can turn my babies into spread the metal. Yeah, yeah, you. It's, oh, that's, that's good. Well, yeah, I feel a lot better now. Uh, uh, is it easy hear creaking? Is it? What's that? Him turning his head and seeing 
They just made some robot companions. And they're holding something that looks very suspicious. Is it, of course, asking, what is it? I want, I want to fly. Don't tell me. Yes. You're, you're gonna make it fly. You're gonna make it fly. You're gonna make a flying tank. Yeah, aerial advantage. Um. Oh, honey, I, I don't know what to say anymore. You, I, I need to punch something. I need to punch the tank. Really? Yeah, sure. You sure you don't mind if I break it? Of course not. So what he does, there is a big ass dent. He's like, oh, this, this like, how the hell was I made of? And then he sees it slowly fix itself. They explain yourself. Oh, reinforcement magic mixed in with, you know that, uh, Remember that Hydra? No. No, you you didn't. Yeah. How? One of my other babies. You imbued it with self healing, as long as it has magic power, which it siphons. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh. You know what? I I think I think we need a break. What? Yeah, we, we need a break from adventuring right now. We we need to find we we need to recharge or some crap. Why? Because you are giving me one hell of a mind, Ray. Why? You are making this nothing but a cakewalk. Why is that a bad thing? It's... It's not a bad thing. It's just your pride's hurt. Excuse me? No, no, I understand. You're. It's just. You're not used to the whole fact that. You work so hard to get to as strong as you are just for someone you recently invited to decide to make things a hell of a lot easier, and she's slowly becoming. As strong as you. No, not really. What? Yeah, I don't care if you get strong and powerful or anything. More power to you. The only thing is, you're making things seem like it takes no effort to get it done. You're yes, I'm a bit upset that you're making everything look easy, but still. The effort I put into getting as strong as I am, you're breezing through it by mowing down all of these monsters and beasts we come across. <sighs> Do you want me to stop? No, no, that's that's not going to fix anything. It's good. Just makes me realize, heck, I probably should. Been working to get more people into this bitch. Oh. Oh, yes, 
That's right. Before me, you were basically a lower solo player, huh? I, I, well, I wasn't necessarily case of a lower player, me, I mean, I was, but don't worry. Everything else. Hmm. Oh, yeah, what about that? Got a Rosie girl. Huh? What about her? Jeez. You were supposed to be spending time with her today, right? Uh huh? Hmm. I don't want to. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man, you were right. I. Completely and totally forgot. Um, so, yeah, we gotta go. I don't want We have to. Why can't you just leave me here? Because it takes energy to keep you in here. It siphons my energy to bring other people in here, remember? Oh. Oh, yeah. Forget about that. Yeah. As soon as they get back, yeah, they're pretty much talking about how their entrance was not the best, considering that Izuku forgot there was supposed to be a party that he was supposed to attend. And yeah, he was not looking prim and proper. And here it comes, Mama Gaidrozo, in which she's pretty much pissed. I said, you technically just, you really blew me off to be with, what, this grease, m don't call her that. She's an inventor. And as, uh, immersed as she can get into her work, she does good work. Uh huh. Well, I uh, I don't know what to say besides uh, let's just take a few pictures showing that we're supposed to have, be having a fun time, and then we can just go our separate ways again. Sounds great. Very good. As we have a flashback to Izuku Momo being alone after the party was finished. Yeah, her dad pretty much told her, do whatever you can to get this boy's attention, get him to love you unconditionally. Her not liking Izuku at all because hell, she doesn't even know the boy. Inko, she's pretty much like, be yourself. And all that goodness. And though she's not used to being around so many rich folks, she is one of the perfect hosts. Ugh. Okay. So, what are your hobbies? Huh? I am asking you, what do you like to do? Train, get rave, go to UA, be a hero. Really? Yeah. That's all you really, yeah, that's all I really wanted to do. Huh. Weird. Is it? Yeah, kind of. Usually, people just want to know, okay, how much more money can I make? How can I do this? No. But you're a bit different. What's your quirk? Hmm. Him summoning his Echo Knight. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, the only thing is, he only gets use a uh, half of my strength. Oh, kind of a weak work, don't you think? 
Well, to be honest, it's not that weak. I can also switch places with him. He can take damage for me, even though he has this one hit, one kill. What? Yeah, he can't really take damage. You gotta be kidding me. So, like, her punching it and it's disappearing. Oh. Oh, that is. Oh, that is sad. Okay. Well, what's your quirk? Oh, I can create things. And it uses my lipids. What? So, wait, wait, wait a minute. So, it uses your fat. Or whatever. Yep. So, you can just go to the All You Can Eat Buffet. And completely pig out. You could be on my 600 pound or 10,000 pound life. As long as you keep creating crap, you can be ready for a swimsuit season. I never thought of it like that, but yes. Basically, I suppose. You have any idea how many people would love to have that kind of a free? Um, Okay, Izuku starting to awaken his inner quirk nerd once again. Okay, you're weird. But, um, probably talk to you later. Uh, just, um, I gotta go home. And now we're back. Pretty much, well, no, she's warming up to Izuku. He's pissing her off to the point where. Where she's wondering, he's like, okay, so what's your relationship with the pink haired girl? Huh? I don't know, she's just my party member. What? Yeah. Oh. So, oh, so you're just friends, right? So you're not. No. Oh, goodness, no. Wow, that hurts my feelings. May, what are you still doing here? I'm just trying, trying to see if you guys have any connections. Hey, you know how boring it is. I'm waiting for you to finish your little playdate. Why don't you just build something? Because my best stuff is not here. The things I really want to work on are somewhere else that I need you for. What? Yeah, I need him to get to the place where my best equipment is. Really? What kind of place is this anyway? Uh, none of your business. Just worry about trying to convince your dad that you're in love with someone you don't even fully know. Excuse me? Yeah. I know all about your little scheme. Wait, what? What, what scheme? Oh, yeah. Seriously, I've seen this play out so many times in movies and TV. I just never thought I would see it in real life. Man, are you really said uh, Yes. It's obvious that our father just wants her to get close to you, to hopefully seduce you. I mean, she definitely has the body for it. Uh, <clears throat> Well, may I don't think that's appropriate to point out. But no, she's right. Oh, yeah, I know that part. But it just means you have to... Wait, you knew? What? You, you knew I was trying to... Oh, yeah, of course. 
Why did you say anything? I didn't care enough. Heck, what I, I know what you or <laughs> some random girl on the street doesn't really matter. Really? Yep. So what, you're just humoring me? Yeah. I mean, you don't seem like a bad person, but I don't know. It's obvious that you don't really want to spend time here with me. Well, if you won't be like that, I can just leave. Promise? May! What? She's offering to throw me a bone here. Yes, go, go, please, leave. Are you really going to let her? Well, are you leaving? Ah. You know what? Whatever, fine. You don't want me here? Hey, I'm gonna bother you. Just to uh, remember who you pissed off. Yeah. Later, princess. Oh, pretty much walking off in one of the worst moods. Hmm. Did you have to? What? It was boring. I had to add some spice. Now, let's go back. I, my babies are waiting for me. Good. Seriously, I, I just don't know what to do with you. You know what I mean. Plus, I would would love to have you. <laughs> don't lie yourself. You would not want me to be left unsupervised in your dungeon quirk. You're right, but still, it's worth a try. Uh, let's go, easy go. We have some uh, grinding to do. What? <clears throat> Nothing. As they leave, go back to the dungeon. Not knowing that Momo didn't leave, but also was like, okay, so let's see what they were up to. Realizing, oh, right, there is more to his quirk than he really wanted to share. Though, yes, she does make binoculars and that damn listening device. She is still more wondering what is his quirk really? Because as soon as they leave, she notices, yeah, that listening device doesn't work anymore. Her being pretty much a creepy stalker that would make Toga proud. By the time they do return, She's wondering, just where in the hell have you guys been? Her? Of course, taking it easy by surprise. May? Okay, you're back. Great. <laughs> what do you want, princess? You're not a princess. Oh, of course you want her. Okay. If anything, I'm just waiting. For you to show us your, uh, you know, animal companion, or waiting for you to break out into a song and dance number. What? Never mind. We have things to do. Just grab a easy goodbye arm. Yeah, I bet. Well, pretty much, Paizuku on the back, saying good luck. 
you're gonna need it. Suzuku, not noticing that she hooked him with her own homemade fishing hook and fishing line. So by the time he leaves, yeah, she inadvertently gets sent there with them, where Izuku and May do gear up. Them see Momo's there. Instantly, Izuku's of course like, how in the feeling something poke him in the back of his neck? You sly! Hey. I was curious to see where you guys run off to. Wait, how did you? Last time I saw you vanish and say I'm just walking somewhere, so where is this place? Huh. Man, I can't believe I let my guard down. That is what you get for any rest of me. Someone, especially a rich girl who has nothing better to do. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. You got nothing better to do than follow us around. At least spy on us. I have you. Um. Plenty of things to do. You are not my top priority. Really? Well, maybe I'm not, but I'm sure Izuku is. I'm sure your daddy just wants you to find out how so nobody like Izuku came up with so much money in such a short amount of time. I... I Wait a minute, what do you mean by nobody? No offense, but you were completely unknown and on nobody's radar until, you know, you got your hands on some pretty much a um, fortune out of nowhere. Which is considering it's gold, silver, jewels, all that. You didn't think anyone would be wondering how does a teenager come across such fortune so easily? <laughs> you know, that was easy. That's great. I don't know. I risked my life just to get as much as I have. Yeah, be. Yeah. <laughs> I think all this talking is starting to bore me. But yeah, do you have any idea how much work I had to do to gain that much money? It doesn't matter to me. You've allowed me to come up with God knows how many potential babies to make. What? Oh yeah, you're still here. Oh, right, uh, Momo. I want to send you back home. What, what, excuse me? What? Yeah. Though you were quite the surprise. An unwelcomed surprise. And we don't really need you here. Hey, uh, 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 wait. <sighs> what? At least explain what you mean by dungeons and everything. Oh, right. Well, turns out my quirk allows me access to dungeons. A large multitude of them. What? Oh, yeah. And the funny thing, we're right now, we haven't finished this particular dungeon. Considering that it's technically a whole world's worth when it comes to 
things. And yeah. Granted, it's going to be a lot easier thanks to May. <sighs> One hand, it makes me wish I actually brought someone here sooner. At least, if only I met her beforehand, who knows how easy it would have been to level up. <laughs> Excuse me, you, you expect me to believe anything of what you say? Doesn't matter. Yeah. All I can say is, I've told you the truth, what you want to do with it. I could tell my father. Do you think he's going to believe you? What? Do you even believe fully if what I've told you. I... I uh, exactly. So if you really think your old man would believe that I have access to literal video game esque dungeons, you're crazy. Uh, I am, uh, oh. Yeah, you're right. But still, I have to explain why you leave. Ugh. Serious? So you tell him that we just... Uh-huh. Damn, little daddy's girl. <sighs> You know what? Screw it. It doesn't matter. Really? No, I, I don't care. <sighs> right, so, um, let me let me think. Ugh. It's obvious what you're supposed to do here. What do you mean? Just have a or join that party. What? Yep. You're joking. Nope. Mama, would you like to? Yes. Oh, she had no hesitation. Fine. Come with us. <sighs> All right, first things first, pick your class. What? Yeah. But like, uh, where are you? I'm a fighter class, as well as, again, like Echo Knight. All right, what about her? Battlesmith. Hence all the gadgets she utilizes. Yeah, especially the tank. Tank! Oh, yeah. It's a long story. Not really, but... It's a lot to... Yeah, process. Hmm. So, wait. She did show something that would compliment her quirk? Or... Well, technically, I'm quirkless. What? Oh, yes. I'm pretty much saying that this is my quirk to mainly throw off any suspicions. Oh. But... <laughs> okay, so, wait. What? What is her quirk? Eh, helps me see further. What? Yeah, that is the most basic explanation I have for my court. Huh, that's wow. I am sorry to hit. Don't, uh, don't do that. What? 
I'm serious. Don't don't say you're sorry. Just work so you had no power over. Okay, dang. Thank you. So, what's your uh, class gonna be? Do I really need one? Um, what? I can tell I'm the only one that has actual useful work. You do not want to go there. Uh, what? I'm serious. Don't, don't. That, like, having a quirk is one of the best things ever. Huh. Fine, fine. So, let's see. Oh. What about an alchemist? Really? How come? Well, I'm able to read any non-living object or material, as long as I know the molecular structure. Okay, so what's your backlash that you get? Uh, I use my lipids and fat cells and to my creations. So calories are uh, my production material. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So what you're saying is, if you, if you were the size of fat gum, and it was swimsuit season, all you had to do is use your quirk over and over again to burn off all of that. Yes. Power Wait, what? Oh, you gotta think about it. Seriously. You could be a plus size or slim model. It all depends on your diet. Wait, I, I. You would never have to exercise. I seriously, you will make it scamming people and buying weight loss products a snap. I would never. Well, that's a wasted opportunity. Why would we want to scam people? Money. Do you think all rich people only care about making more money? Is that why you were bothering to spend time with me? No. No, 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 no. That's different. My dad told me to spend time with you. I wouldn't dare even be around you if I didn't have to. Um, damn. Momo? That's kind of mean. What? I, hey, 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 wait, wait a minute. I didn't mean to sound like that. Don't, don't worry. I don't care. Wait, what? Seriously. I don't know anything about you, really. I just learned what your core really capabilities Really were. If anything, I'd probably ignore you while you're here. At least in the present. Uh, listen here, princess. You are not my top priority. I'm training to become a hero. And I'm training definitely. To surpass all might. <sighs> Frankly, May here is one of the most important people to me, besides my mom, of course. <sighs> oh, 
What? Izuku, let's not get sentimental here. <laughs> Good point. Okay, yes. But yeah, Alchemist, that'll be your best class for you. Really? So you're talking about like the equal exchange thing or turning one thing into another? I think they turn one thing into another, combining unknown materials, see what happens. Heck, you know how in school they would tell you to put baking soda and vinegar together? Basically like that, but trying to get up to a godly amount and add magic to the mix. Not to mention the chemicals. <laughs> what? Yeah, and magic potions. Huh? Go ahead, pick a class. I, but wait a minute. Just do it. Hmm. Okay. Now, yeah, that's the football smith. Now I have an alchemist. Ugh, this is gonna be. Ugh, this is gonna be a pain. <laughs> hmm. Actually, this actually might be able to get your dad off your ass. What? Maybe like this. Make a healing potion. What? I don't. Here's the recipe. Why do you have this? You never know what you're going to eat. A fresh batch of potions. Believe me, especially with what we do. Huh. Okay. As soon as Momo tries first, this is low brain. That's what the weak shit that she ends up making. Izuku, kind of disappointed, but also, eh, it serves its purpose. But, so, uh, this is, yep. And oh yeah, try making, uh, here's a recipe for a stamina potion. What? Oh yeah. We're going to make, we make some sweet money together. Wait, we? Oh, yes. You're going to be utilizing my quirk more than you are yours. Do you think these ingredients are just easy to obtain? I can make anything that's non-living. Oh yeah, and you know all those uh roots and whatnot I gave you? Yeah, what about it? Yeah, those are plants, remember? As far as minerals go, I don't think you can really do that with your level of quirk. Not Wait, what? Exactly. Like you said, every non-living thing. How do you know the structure? What's molecular makeup? Yeah, just because you know that about plants, they're still non-li- not non-living, so yeah, they, they're alive. Believe me, if you could create living things, Waste plant life, you'll be way overpowered. I like so, yeah, you need me to get to the materials you need, at least the organic ones. And 
and I need you to help keep supplying us with potions as well as keeping your cat off our asses. Excuse me? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He just wants to sort of hang out with you. I am not a part of this. You've been a part of it as soon as you broke in my home. Ah, no, no, I, I did not do that. I broke on into your property. What <laughs> matter? Hey, it pays to be politically correct. I did not break into your home. I broke into your property. At least the land. Trespassing is still trespassing. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I can't deny that. So, we got a deal, Momo? I can't believe this. Oh, right. You're also going to need a, a little buddy. What? Uh, come with me. I'll explain everything. As they get sent to Wabuzugu's many already conquered and somewhat altered dungeons. Like, what is this? Oh yes, this uh this here is pretty much my menagerie zoo or some what, uh, or you could just say farm. What? I. How? Oh, yes. As soon as I conquer a dungeon, I can either reset it, alter it, you know, things like that. Wait, but what about. Wait, what do you mean by resetting it? Does it mean. Oh, it means exactly what you think it means. So, if you got gold from a, one of your already conquered dungeons, and you choose to reset it, and then you beat it again, it would, it would drop that same amount of gold, yes. Holy! I... I... I that's... Ridiculous! Talk about unfair. You ain't wrong, but uh, come on. Ain't my fault. It was, like, it's, it's not fair. It's just the sheer amount of wealth you can accumulate. Are you saying you can alter it? Yeah, but altering it and resetting it, it can drain my energy quite a bit. Like, why reset it? Yeah, that's gonna take a toll on me. To alter it, it also requires an excessive amount of energy. Let alone to keep it Maintained physically, if I don't use mana. That's just incredible. Oh, believe me, I know, but still, I try not to overdo it. What? Yeah. Like, could you imagine if I spend like a week or a month here, just gathering more and more gold from the same dungeon over and over and over again. Huh. Now if you say it like that, yeah. Let's just, Crazy. Dangerous. 
is what you're thinking about. Because people are going to wonder where I got it. They're going to be wondering how much I really have. As well as putting a price on it. Because at the end of the day, it's better to stay little low key. There's no way you are. Huh. I gotta say, you were pretty clever. Yeah, I know. Uh, don't put yourself on the back. What? You still allowed her to, you know. It's very fair. But still. Still what? You gotta think. I, it wasn't really my fault. Isn't it? I mean, if you were more careful, you probably wouldn't even to worry about such mishaps. But, uh, I when you're right, but still, there's no but still, you, you fucked up. That's all we need to know. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, either way, we have our plan. What? What? Uh, the plan where you help us and we help you? Hmm? You know, that plan? And you're really okay with that. Eh, just give us a share of the dang, you know, profits. Uh, what? In fact, we're going to need a contract. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to need a contract. <laughs> uh, uh. You really do not trust anyone. No. No, I do not. Trust me. Someone other than my mom? No, 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 no. No, Okay, fine. So, who's going to break up this contract? Oh, of course. What? Oh, yes, I get a certain scribe skill. What's that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. Just know that when I make a contract, it is legal binding. <laughs> Can't be broken unless you want to face the consequences. <sighs> Can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it. Trust me. If, if rather than the alternative. As yes, he's a good gets a contract all good and written up. And we'll read it. And Though she did expect Izuku to try to be an asshole, especially given his behavior as of late, she sees that, okay, I was somewhat wrong about him. And though she sees what happens if she does break this contract, in which she will lose all rights to sell her 
all the fortunes she makes under her companies, as well as has to lose whatever ability she's gained, as well as levels, and possibly have to start from scratch. And that is if Yuzuku actually allows her to go back into the dungeon at all. Mixed with the fact that anything being a, for lack of a bad word, unsavory, if I want to try that slick shit, Yuzuku has every right to everything that's been collected through the potions. All the money they gain from selling one that goes to Izuku. And so on and so forth. Her reading it and actually seeing how big the hole she dug herself into. Trying to negotiate Izuku. No. <laughs> just, just sign it. She does, but she feels like she just sold her soul to the devil. These are you, of course, have a smug-ass grin. <laughs>